Hi and welcome to PMPLounge.com. Today we are continuing our discussion on the PMI report known as Capturing the Value of Project Management. Now this report is available for free on the PMI website and I will link to this uh, download page of the report in the description so that you can go over and download this report for free. Like I said, it's a free report. You don't need anything. All you need to do is go to the link provided in the description and download this report for yourself. It's a beautiful report, contains a lot of good stuff. Today, we have taken out a few graphs from that report that talk specifically about high performing and low performing organizations how these kind of organizations deliver projects so with this video you will understand what the high performing organizations are doing right to deliver the projects and deliver the, their results so in order to understand uh, these graphs and in order to completely understand this video it is absolutely important to understand what do we exactly mean when we say high performing organization or low performing organization so let's try to understand that first so high performers are organizations that achieve 80 percent or more of projects on time on budget and meeting original goals while low performers are organizations that achieve 60% or less or fewer projects on time on budget and meeting original goals. So what this means is if you take an example of an organization that has 10 projects and it delivers eight of them on time on budget and meeting the original goals, it is a high performing organization. While if it delivers only six or less then six of the, those 10 projects on time, on budget and meeting the original goals, it is a low performing organization. So this is the definition uh, given in the PMI report that PMI has kind of considered to come up with these graphs that we are going to discuss next. So high performing organizations create a culture of project management. Now that is extremely important. You can see the green bars represent high performers and the red bars represent low performers. Organizations fully understand value of project management. The first point in the graph, 80% of the high performing organizations, they fully understand the value of project management, while only 36% of the low performers understand it. So if you're in an organization, and I'm sorry to say that, that keeps questioning on the value of project management, what does project management provide? What is the value of project management? If you hear this kind of question often, you are unfortunately working in a low performing organization because only 36% of these organizations understand the value of project management actively engaged sponsors the second point so 81 percent of these high performing organizations actively engage with their sponsors while only 45 percent of low performers do 57 percent high performing organizations have high alignment of projects to strategy so to the overall strategy of the company right so let's say you're working in a company whose overall strategy is into cloud computing. So 57% of high performing organizations, if you are one of those, your projects will be aligned to cloud computing. So that is what it is. That's how high performing organizations work. While only 29% of low performers do. High project management maturity, 36% organizations have 36% of not just the organizations, but 36% of the high performer organizations have high project management maturity, while only 9% of low performing organizations do. Do you kind of understand and uh, uh, point this out? Can you point this out how very less number of high performers, even the high performers have project management maturity. That means a lot of work, a lot of research and a lot of um, you know, knowledge 
needs to be gained at organizational level as well when it comes to project management maturity. Moving on, high program management maturities, 40% and 8%, and then high portfolio management maturity, 35% and 8%. So that's that high performing organizations create a culture of project management. They understand the value of project management. They engage with their sponsors. Their projects are aligned to their strategy. And that is how high performing organizations deliver projects. High performing organizations focus on talent management now they the high performing organizations they manage their talent how let's look into some of the examples ongoing training for project managers 80 percent of the high performing organizations have ongoing trainings for project managers while only 51 percent of the low performers do while it should be actually opposite right if you're a low performing organization right if 60 percent or less of your projects are on budget on time and meeting original goals your project managers should be spending a lot of more time on trainings and understanding the basics of project management and delivering the projects correctly right so but it's the it's quite the opposite that we see here Formal process to develop project manager competency, 65% in high performers and 36% in low performers. Again, it's the same thing. It's almost the same thing, I would say, not exactly the same thing, but training for project managers and then developing the project manager competency again. So it circles back to education, project management education. Third point, formal knowledge transfer process. 75% in high performers and only 35% in low performers. Now, this is huge, right? A big, big gap between high performers and low performers. You, you can observe here in the process of knowledge transfer. If the project is transferred from one project manager to another, one department to another, right? The knowledge transfer process itself is extremely poor when it comes to low performing organizations and is exceedingly well when it comes to high performing organizations point number four defined career path for project managers 62 percent versus 33 percent so project managers in high performing organizations know what their career path will be highly effective knowledge transfer process 32% for high performers and only 6% for low performers. So this is where even the high performers lack, right? The, the knowledge transfer process, although there is uh, a considerable percentage, considerable score for formal knowledge transfer, but highly effective knowledge transfer is where even the high performers are lacking. Let's move on. High performing organizations focus on process. So PMO, the project management office, 76% to 64%. You can see here how even the low performers understand the value and the, uh, the advantages that PMO brings in. And we have a video on PMO as well. I'll link to it in the description so that you can uh, go over that video as well. Formal process to mature existing project management practices, 71% for high performers and 31% for low performers. We saw how project management maturity is lacking even amongst the high performing organizations. And that is where that is why you see here that high performers are kind of having a formal process so that they can mature their existing project management processes, practices. Standardized project management practices, 51% versus 14%. So low performers don't even have standardized project management practices. Anyone is doing anything at their own will, right? That is not a standardized project management practice. Enterprise-wide PMO is highly aligned to strategy, 67% versus 33%. Again, we are discussing the strategy that we talked about that the the projects that the high performers deliver are highly aligned to the overall strategy and that is where the pmo is also highly aligned to strategy the overall company strategy that is 
The last point, department-specific regional or divisional PMOs is highly aligned to strategy. So not just the enterprise-wide PMO, but the department-specific or the regional or the divisional PMOs are also highly aligned to strategy, 56% to 27%. So this also kind of gives us an idea of how when you are running your organization, right, how the PMOs, the projects, everything should be highly aligned to the overall strategy of your organization to make sure you can enter this elite club of high performing organizations. And that is all that we had with this video. Hope you liked it. Do hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to this YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. And check us out on our social media, facebook.com slash pmplounge and twitter.com slash pmplounge. As always, do check out the website pmplounge.com, your number one free resource for PMP exam as well as project management industry information. Thank you.